So first game against Knis, and if I remember correctly, which I don't, uh, I can't remember what Knis was playing. I would have normally uh, quickly checked on my replays before the stream, but I've been very busy today and I didn't actually get a chance. So we'll know pretty quickly. All right, so this hand, this is before I modified the deck because uh, I'm still playing part of the Sky Striker stuff. This is still going quite heavily for the OTK. I think this is Tri Brigade Zodiac. The worst yeah. possible variant of the deck. No, I wouldn't say it's the worst. Like I think it's well, just pure like the is most... worse. Pure is worse. <laughs> I mean, it's the most consistent version to play on ladder. If like whatever matchup you're going into, it's it's good. It's not going to be. I don't think it's got great. I don't know what the great matchups are. I don't know the deck well enough. The like, thing I'm about... always. Go ahead. I'm always quite excited to play against Tri Brigade uh, Zodiac because I feel very favored in the matchup, and people consider it the best deck, and it locks a lot of the other decks that are a bit problematic to me out of the format. So the thing with the uh, Zodiac variant of it is that it, it doesn't have any bad matchups, but it doesn't have any good ones at all. The deck just doesn't do anything. Like, Dryden is just Regeki Break, with a, but it consumes your normal summon. Like, I, I, I know that Dryden is good. Don't get me wrong, Dryden is a great card, but so this guy's yeah. board is Appaloosa Revolt. Like, that is not so, a threatening board. Yeah. So to for the people watching, I play Sky Striker engage first because I want to fish for the Ash Blossom and convince my opponent I'm playing Sky Striker. It's more important. Uh, we I use Lightning Vortex on the Spell of Traps and not to clear out the Appaloosa because the Tri Brigade Revolt is actually a bigger threat to my strategy than the Appaloosa. I can play through three monster negates quite comfortably, and I also have the Kaiju for it. So it's a case of Revolt being I have to, my opponent has to anticipate when to use it is a little bit more where it was a little bit more worrying to me so i figured i'm gonna scoop uh clear those out like immediately force it so then he has like only the interaction i can see and maybe one or two hand traps and i've also got like an infinite impermanence in my hand as well which uh yeah. so i don't actually have to commit the kaiju it's actually in this deck committing the kaiju is a pretty big decision because then you can't use transcode talker for your uh, extra uh extra attribute in the grave of the banner of access code talker or if you want, if you have to do some kind of weird shenanigans to get to your access code talker with the update jammer, uh, you kind of can't do that. Yeah, so just <laughs> infinite impermanence, give him a kaiju, and then at this point, uh, we can pretty much full combo from here. Yeah. I think if he, if he has Ash Blossom, it's still pretty problematic, but... Yeah, if you had Ash Blossom's spell, that would have been pretty big. But from here, like, it's a case of, like, even if you had Effect Veiler, I do have the uh, Guy Striker yeah. spell that I could use. If he doesn't have a response to that, he that's it. He has no responses. Short of Nibiru, there's nothing else that can come up anymore. Yeah, and we got a Revival spell, so... Uh, the Revival spell just gives us extra... This extra thing to play with, uh, Cyber is Wicked. You can kind of speed up a little bit here because this is a pretty standard combo that I'm going to be pulling off. It's just uh, playing your primary colors, red, yellow, purple, in just slightly different orders to get to, to achieve the same results. Once you get really familiar with this kind of deck, uh, it's you can kind of it's you figure you can sort of see in your head, okay, I need to do this order or that order. So the combo varies depending on what you drew. The real challenge with this deck is actually playing it through opponent's interaction. Right. And when, when they don't have any, you kind of autopilot and like, hey look, the Nibiru. But he used it at the worst possible time. Yeah, I have actually kaiju so I can't trans talker uh, one-shot him. True. But the for those watching at home, you Nibiru before update jammers on the board. <laughs> update yeah, jammers. Exactly. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, update Jammer just being in the graveyard means that like Transco can now bring it back for a game at any point in the duel, even if it's not this turn. All you have to do is make Transco Talker and the game will end. Oh, okay, yeah, it's a great, yeah. If you're looking for real primary colors, not my deck, the primary colors are red, yellow, purple. So I would have, normal, under normal circumstances, gone for uh, uh, Transco Talker, but I can't because I've had been forced to use a Kaiju. So uh, essentially I end up using this uh, Dark Templar to set myself up a board of it's it's just a pretty solid board and then i make the xyz monster i'm just trying to remember the name because i actually very very light dragon yeah light dragon out ignister because 
It gives you uh, protection from uh, removal because you can just attach material whenever your site, uh, your atmospheres will be destroyed. So I'm like, this plays around lightning storm. Uh, it gives me a little bit of, just a little bit of work. Uh, it just, it just puts, it gives me a little bit of protection against a lot of potential eggs. And I've got a very easy full combo next turn. So opponent actually just rips the forbidden droplets and goes ahead and I think, okay, if they lightning vortex me, that's fine. I just full combo them next turn. But they have a, they have a combo here because, and they're able to clear my entire field out. Uh, so yeah, we'll just let them play through. Tri Brigade does Tri Brigade stuff. And then they're going to be all in, and I've got a uh, Lightning Vortex and um, full follow He left the, the update jammer on the board. He could have banished it. God. Yeah. Well, update jammer's in the graveyard. The game's over. Cool. Like, I yeah, can, I mean... Th this game is over. You haven't I met you. The game is over. Yeah, yeah. And i got the Lightning Vortex as well. Oh, my so. God. Yeah. Well, I mean, access code pops both as guys. You don't even need to... You have a... Uh, oh, this. I can't. I can't play because I've got the field spell. Yeah. Right? I've got the lightning vortex, but yeah, I've got the spell, so I can't. So it's just like, yeah, I've got the access code talker. So... Do you eye contact just... him to just style him? You do. Nice. Okay. Completely unnecessary draw three. <laughs> yeah. Summon yellow. I really like AI contact. It actually, interestingly enough, rarely comes up that I'm, I'm choosing that I'm going to do that. Like, this is just Splash Mage for anyone for transcode for update. Is 53 attacks twice, pop both, and kill. Like, the never let them get update jammer in their graveyard, or they can kill you with one card at the drop of a hat. This, like, the Attic Mystery deck will... It's free. One card. The other... Yeah. There's, like, seven other cards in the same. None of them are needed. And, like, yeah. this Purple would have also done it. This Idol Reborn would have done it. And both these I Met Yous would have done it. He had game in his hand five times because this single... Uh, Shurag decided I'm just gonna not banish that update jammer. And you, Mr. Bell, brought back the update jammer with Light Dragon and gave him the opportunity to do it. <laughs> yeah, uh, so part of it was a learning. This was in gold. Like, my deck's changed a lot and I've improved. I've learned a lot more about playing through the deck. Um, it's been interesting because a few people have kind of learned a little bit about how to play around uh, Ignisters. Like, early on, I found a lot of the Tribe Gate players with the uh, when they revolt, they try and take your monsters away from you as opposed to your field spell. And now I'm finding that Tri Brigade players have adapted and they're very aggressively going after your field spell with their... Uh, is it Shiraz you said the uh, the Link 4 was? Uh, Shirag, yeah. I think that's what... I've just been calling him that. I don't know how you actually pronounce it. 